All my assistants are away, except Al Longa. He might turn up. In any case, my men Denny will look after you. Captain Drummond was actually on his way from his country house to meet this girl last night. And the accident prevented him. In my opinion, it looks pretty bad, sir. In my opinion, it looks pretty good. I shall meet the girl. Is she pretty? Well, sir, it's all a matter of opinion. Denny, you're hiding the truth from me. If this girl's no good, you've got to get another. I'm not going out to rescue a lemon. I quite understand, sir. The first thing to do is to hear what she has to say. And what did she say last night? And nothing, sir. Except that it's a matter of life and death, and she will only tell her story to Bulldog Drummond. And Bulldog Drummond is ready. What time is she coming? Then it's off, sir. She ought to be here any minute now. Fine. Then give me a gun. You don't want a gun for this job, sir. Then give me some chloroform. Because you don't need it, sir. Then give me some rope. No, no, sir. Well, give me something to hit her on the head with if she's not pretty. Oh, I don't think that would be necessary, sir. As soon as you've got this girl's story, I shall phone it to the captain. And I expect that will be all you'll have to do. But aren't we going to see any bodies? I shouldn't think so, sir. Aren't we going to see anybody gagged and bound? Oh, I should doubt it, sir. But this is not in the drum and tradition. I want something big, something I can get hold of. Stand back, you rats. If you think you've got me, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> Forgive me for laughing, but you all look so funny. That gives her to the life. <laughs> if any man moves, I'll put a bullet through his head. Stick him up. Stick him up. Come on, out of that. Come on, over here. Hurry. Come on, come on. Down here, down here. Down. Hello. Well, you certainly fooled me. I thought you got a gun. I'm terribly sorry. Good evening, sir. Oh, good evening, Denny. This is Mr. Longer, sir. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm Elsie. Oh, Elsie. Yes. Oh, I'm Bulldog Drum. That'll be the girl. Come here, come here. Good, sir. Hello, uh, girl. What girl? The most beautiful girl, I hope. <laughs> At last, I found you. Come along, Mr. Green. Let me go. Captain Robin? Yes. I was told to come to you. You are the only man in the world who can save me. Now, come, come, sir. Come along. Come no, no, leave me alone. Oh. Captain Drummond. You must listen. They're after me. They're after me. And what have I done? That's what we want to find out. You see these hands? I suppose they were clean once. They are the hands of a criminal. Well, what, what is all this? What's happening? Shh. What have you done with the body? No, no. There's no body. You've destroyed it? No, no. I have killed nobody. But they want me to go to the goddess again, and I won't do it. I won't do it. I think you're quite right. Goddess? What goddess? The goddess with a hundred hands. A hundred hands? You know what they want me to do? Wash them? That's the girl. No, no, no. That's him. Your pardon me, it's the girl. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. Captain Drummond, if he gets me, then he'll torture me. I can't stand it. I go mad. All right, don't worry, don't worry. Keep calm. You leave it to me. What do you want? Say you are the only man in the world who can save me. If I went to the police, you'd kill me. Look. Good evening, sir. Never mind about that. Not to trouble you, but that's the man we want. What? I'm never mind about that either. And take your hats off. Whatever it is you've made this poor old man do, and none of us quite gather, I strongly resent it. And so does he. It's disgusting. Look at his hands. And look at your own, for that matter. Algy, from the bridge. Well, uh, thank you. How am I doing? Great. Fine. I think you made a mistake, sir. I'm Inspector Gateshead of Scotland Yard. And this is Sergeant Robinson. Oh, won't you sit down? Uh, have a cigarette. Uh, Jenny, get some drinks. No, thank you. We've got to get on with this job. This man gave us a slip on the way to Bow Street. That isn't true. He's an old-timer. <laughs> Never in my life. What I... is the charge? Forgery. Well, I never did. I'm not at all satisfied. Well, I'm asking your opinion anyway. Come on. No! Oh, don't! Please! Please save me, Captain Roman! Save me, it's please! preposterous! Can you take him as well? On what charge? I'll take the one and ring you up. How are you being trouble, sir? It's all right. Come on. I mean, you I will not You shut up! All right. Go! Help me! Help me out! Now, I'll trouble you for an explanation. You heard everything that was said? Yes, and I still want an explanation. Well, if it comes to that, so do I. Oh, why are you 
masquerading as Drummond. Because I happened to bump into him and he asked me to do it. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. Denny, will you please explain? Yes, sir. It's quite right. Ah, that is the girl. Well, much as I deplore the word, I think you're an imposter. I'm going to throw you out. You and the goddess with a hundred hands. Uh, no, uh, me and Denny. Oh. Excuse us interrupting, sir. I am Sergeant Gateshead, and this is Sergeant Robinson. We have orders to report to Captain Drummond's threat. So we'd just like to take a look around. Did you say Gateshead and Robinson? Yes. Oh, uh, you're not Captain Drummond, are you, sir? No, he's not. But go ahead. Right. Another of those, and I'll chuck you out. I'm trying to do a job for Drummond, and you're letting me down. Surely you don't believe that bluff bluff? That isn't bluff. They're on the level. Of course they're not. Right who they are. They're the police. They're not. Crooks. They're police. They're crooks. Police. Crooks. How's that, sir? Yes. Those things that build their nests high up in the trees. Yes, uh, rooks. Well, uh, everything appears to be all right here, sir. But if you don't want it, we'll be waiting downstairs in the entrance hall. Oh, won't you have a drink before you go? Oh, don't mind if I do. Thank you, sir. That's fine. Jenny, bring some drinks. Uh, step inside, gentlemen. Sit down. Make yourself at home. That's good. <laughs> Jenny, keep them in there while I get the police. Crooks. Now, look, sir.
do you suppose have taken me? Nothing, I assure you. Where do you suppose those men could have taken me? To the goddess with a hundred hands. You haven't got a grandmother, have you? No. No. I wonder... Hmm. What's this? There's something written on here. Blueberry. Oh, it looks like his writing. I wonder if it's meant to convey anything. Well, this is a job for the expert brain. Algy, here's your big chance. Algy. Algy. Oh, good heavens. You have ignored my warning. What a pity. Oh, 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 oh. Now you see what comes of making yourself a nuisance. Are you Miss Chambers? Yes. They sent me over from the hospital. I have a message from Mr. Salvini. Hospital? Yes. He's not hurt. No, Miss, only a slight concussion. It appears that two men pretending to be detectives were rushing him away in a car when it skidded into a lamppost. Oh. I must go to him. Wait a minute. How did you get in here? Mr. Salvini gave me his key. Oh, that's it? That's his chain? No. I can drive you over to the hospital. If you care to come in the ambulance. Oh, thank you very much. I think I'll have to go at once. Right. I'll come with you. I'll come as well. You go get yourself tied up again. GLO-13. You haven't. Thank you. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, is that the General Hospital? Uh, they have you an ambulance GLO-13. Uh, what? Oh, th thank you very much. Yes. Are you feeling better now? Oh. It was you. Yes. I knew it. You took me. 
took him away. Where is he? You're forcing him to do something like, like you did before with the Cellini ball. You can go now. Have you got an ambulance GLO 13? Have you an ambulance GLO 13? Have you got an ambulance? Have you an ambulance GLO 13? GLO 13? Have you got an ambulance GLO 13? Oh, really? Yes. Yes. You've seen your grandfather and talked with him. I'm sure you'll realize how necessary it is he should return at once to home comforts. Otherwise, I cannot be responsible for the consequences. Come on, lady. Wait until the morn. 
Good night. Good night. Good night. I don't think we ought to go in there. I'm sure it's private property. Yes, yeah, somebody's back garden. Yeah. It's terribly dark. If you were really Drummond, you'd have a torch. And if you were really my assistant, you'd have brought one. Oh, I'm sorry for all the unkind things I've said to you. Yes. 
No. Just enough to stop him working. But why have they brought you here? Because now they want me to do the job. Where? I don't know. He won't tell me. Salvini. No. He's asleep. They'll probably come for me in a few minutes. The job has to be finished tonight. Good. I've just arrived in time. We'll have them gagged and bound in half an hour. Algiers, as a night errant in shining armor, you will ride forth and telephone Scotland Yard. Depart. Forthwith. What, down that tunnel? Down that tunnel. Well, I, I much rather not. Have you a stout heart? Yes. Then take it down the tunnel. Yes. You look like a magnificent lioness. I wish I could give you a bun. <laughs> May I do that? <coughs> what about a little supper? I'll turn up and get a taste. Algie! You'll have to affect a gallon rescue first. If I do, will you come after me? I could never refuse Captain Drummond. Supposing I wasn't Captain Drummond, you wouldn't be interested. Well, I... Or would you? Where did you get that? Say yes, and I'll give it you back. No, I won't. All right, then. I shall keep your mouth. <laughs> All right, then, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. I've got to get you out of here at once. I must find something to break down these gates. Stay where you are while I come back. Of working. 
And there's a slight possibility that we may have misunderstood each other. I gave him his instructions, and possibly he lost his way, so to speak. Yet I don't think it's possible. Might I ring him up? Certainly. Thank you. Hello. Is this the long work, then? Oh, Algy. You remember that telephone number I gave you? Whitehall 1212. Did you use it? You did. Oh, the number was engaged. That was lucky. What? Do I want you to send the police here? Certainly not. Hello? 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 He's rung off. Captain Drummond and I were wondering whether you managed to phone the police or not. Yes, I know. How do you know? Well, uh, you rang me up at the flat. You got here very quickly. Uh, yes, I... Now, General, I'll give you exactly ten minutes to hand over this Manders and Salvini. We've got the girl. I'll come straight down. Remember, ten minutes. I'm sorry to appear distracted, but I cannot make up my mind whether to kill you now or later. Well, I hope he makes it later. Oh, my dear young lady. Now you've seen your grandfather, I hope you've changed your mind. No. You still think Captain Drummond will help you? I know he will. I'm sorry to dash your hopes, but your friend doesn't happen to be Captain Drummond. And anyway, at this moment, he is my prisoner. I know you're saying all this to try to frighten me. Longworth, had you not entered my house through the roof of my conservatory, I might have been less suspicious. I must apologize for appearing abstracted, but I have decided to kill you now. I defy you, Morel. Nevertheless, I shall have to kill you, and I'm going to do it entirely by myself in the tunnel. We're going to... I'm a little short-sighted, but who are you exactly? Bulldog Drummond. Very odd. Miss Manders, Bulldog Drummond is in hospital with a broken arm. Is this true? Certainly not. Mr. Longworth, is this true? Well, yes. Why waste time with this man, Miss Manders? You and your grandfather might be free in a few hours if you will do what I want. Don't listen to him. Very well. I'll do it. Splendid. You take this lady down. Come on. You and Hugh will look after these gentlemen here. Get over there, you two. Today is final staircase. Tom, you take Colonel B. I forbid you to do it. I'm not interested. Anne. And don't call me Anne. Come on. Down here. Come on. All right. You are not going out after all, Captain Drummond. Might I trouble you for my coat and filthy hat? Come along. How long have you found 
fellow who's been in this racket. And can anybody join? Because he'd like to. Ah, now, what about a nice little game of find the lady? My friend's an expert. Show him that stuff you do in the train. He's so good, he'll give you a quid every time you find the lady. Go on, do your stuff. You two stay here. Come along, Miss Mendel. Give him a quid. Yes, now this time you're not going to find me. Give him another quid. Now this time I'll make it really difficult. If you find it, I'll give you a couple of quid. Hey, what's the name of the president here? Wait a minute. Look out, Mr. Hey, Mark. Get that gun. Aldi, get that gun. Open that door. You're wrong. Pardon me for laughing, but you both look so funny. Ha, ha, ha.
out here and see if you have to work quickly. No. But I can't do it, Wyatt. You will do as you are told. somebody else. Come along, miss. You'll just take a little walk with me. Wait a minute. Here he is. You better stand back, Morel. I've already gagged and bound the man who wears these clothes. You've got the stones. Search him.